I don't know who I think I'm kidding with this video. This is gonna be a mess. And it's way too hot to be filming in this room. But here we are. Hello, welcome to another video. As you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, today I am doing an unhaul challenge. It is currently about 32 degrees, uh, which in the UK is outlandishly hot. I know that's not that hot in other countries, but honestly in the UK, that's hot. We're not built for this. It's hot and I'm gonna unhaul some books. Um, I have my laptop here because I have gone to my patrons for some prompts for me. So what we're doing today is an unhaul scavenger hunt. My patrons, I've told them they could be as specific or as vague as they wanted and I have got a ton of prompts from them, so thank you very much. And uh, if you didn't know about my Patreon and you would like to know more, the link is always down below, no pressure, whatever. I'm not gonna do every single one of them, there's a lot, and I don't wanna be here all day, so I'm gonna just randomly scroll through, and we'll aim to do 20, 25, between 20 and 25 of them. But some of these are probably gonna be really hard to fulfill. Some of them may be easier than others. It's gonna take away a lot of choice that I have in what I'm unhauling. So I need to find a way to bend some of these prompts as well to make sure I'm still unhauling books I actually want to unhaul and not just to fulfill prompts because I'm not gonna get rid of books that I don't want to get rid of, you know? With all that being said, thank you patrons. Let's start this scavenger hunt, shall we? So how I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna screen record or whatever, you're gonna have to trust me, but I'm just gonna randomly scroll through and see which one I end up on, and I'm gonna go here, this one. So this one's from Amanda, thank you Amanda. A book that includes all the colours of the rainbow, or names in the title, author name, back cover, okay, something rainbow, basically. Let's see what I can find. Naturally, I can think of rainbow books I don't want to unhaul. Can I think of anything rainbow that I do want to unhaul? Probably not. Yes, I can. The Weather Weaver by Tamsin Mori. It's literally got a rainbow on it. Um, I got this in a book club, a book club box? No, a uh, Tales by Mail book subscription box thing. Um, I have read the other one that came in that box, but I haven't read this one. Um, I've heard good things about it, but I just don't think I'm gonna get to it personally, if I'm being brutally honest. And it has a rainbow on it, so one down. Random scrolling again. This one. Caitlin has asked me to unhaul a book with Sebastian de Castell on the cover. Naturally this would freak me out, and when I first saw it, it did freak me out. But, because I got these comments a little while ago, I thought about this prompt for the occasion that it may come up, because I'm not going to unhaul a Sebastian de Castell book. But you know what I am going to unhaul? The Swordsman's Lament by G.M. White. I didn't like this, I'm sad to say. But on the back, it says, perfect for fans of Sebastian de Castell. And I think that counts as the cover, like front and back. So it's got Sebastian de Castell's name on it. And it's not a said book. So unhauling The Swordsman's Lament. I did DNF this, so happy to see it go. Anyway, worked my way around that. <laughs> Random scrolling continues. This one. A book the same colour as Finn's current favourite toy. Now his favourite toy is his stuffed fox. So it's kind of orange, kind of orangey in colour. Orangey, red, yellow, that, you know, foxy coloured. So something foxy coloured. Is that foxy coloured? I would say that's foxy coloured. I would say that's very foxy coloured. So I'm gonna go for this. This is Kiki Kaleria Breaks the Kingdom. Um, this came in an Alcrate Junior. I'm going to donate this to my sister's school. Um, to be fair, a lot of the books that come in Alcrate Junior that I'm less interested in or not interested in, I do end up donating to my sister's school. Uh, they definitely go to more use there. Um, if they're ones that I'm particularly interested in, I'll keep hold of. But I can't remember what this is about. Doesn't spark any, like, interest in me right this second. Um, and I need to make room, so... There we go. Something foxy coloured. That was easier than I thought. Right, number four. 
for random scrolling to this one. Probably the most awkward one yet, thanks Mick. Um, a book with the numbers 4, 7 and 8 in the ISBN. Good luck. Ah, this could be anything, so I just need to find anything that I could unhaul and see if it's got 4, 7 and 8 in the ISBN. Wow. 9, 7, 8, ah oh, but no 4. No 4 in that, okay. Wait, this one does, so it's 9, 7, 8, so there's the 7 and the 8, blah 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 blah. 7, 4, 2. So it's got a 7, an 8, and a 4 in it. Right. This is The Girl of Ink and Stars by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. My mum has read this and I haven't heard like amazing things from her about it. I know Kieran Millwood Hargrave is very beloved and I have loved some of her other books and I have some of her other books. Um, but this one has just not interested me anywhere near as much as her other ones at all. A Tale of Wonder and Courage. Just nothing about it speaks to me. Oh, although now I'm looking at the blurb and thinking maybe it does. I don't think it does though. If I'm gonna read a Kieran Millwood Hargrave, it's gonna be Julia and the Shark or Secrets of Birds and Bone. It's not gonna be this one, I don't think. I'm sticking with my gut instinct. I just don't think I'm gonna pick this up. I'm not drawn to it. I, I don't think I'm gonna. So, The Girl of Ink and Stars. Number five, this one. <laughs> A book with a morally grey hero. Hmm. I don't know. That is... specific. This will have to be one that I've read. And I don't know what one to pick. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Bear with. Da -da -da -da. Vicious. I have like four copies of this book and this is never going to have a matching cover for Vengeful, and my other ones do. This is just the odd one out, and I need more room on my Schwab shelf because I lent out Addy, and now it doesn't fit for when I get it back. <laughs> so, this makes a lot of sense, actually. As much as it pains me because it's Schwab, it's a Schwab book that I have multiple other editions of, and this is the, like, original old cover so happy to get rid of it. Morally grey heroes and villains, Eli and Victor, who want to kill each other because they're enemies, but they're also extraordinaries. Amazing book. I love it very much. Next! Uh, well this one. Kathleen, a book you read but found meh. I feel like this is the perfect prompt for an unhaul. Like a book I've read but I didn't love, just found it very Meh. So, let's have a look. What did I read and just find kinda meh. Oh, you know what? This one. It's beautiful, but it was kinda meh. Um, and that is Ghost Cloud by Michael Mann. This cover is gorgeous with the like naked underneath, but I read it and I did find it kinda meh and I don't really think about it ever. So I don't think it's one that I would want to hold on to to like recommend because it's not one that stuck with me, it's not one that I think about, it's one that just kind of was a bit meh. So yeah, Ghost Cloud. This makes sense. This is about some kids that were kidnapped and forced to shovel coal and this power plant thing and then one of them finds out that he's like part ghost and works out a way to help the kids escape from this coal shoveling slave camp basically. But it was kind of just not that special to me, so meh. Next! This one. Book box book. Is that really bleh, bleh, bleh. Book box book. Again, probably should be fairly easy to unhaul a book box book because there are always mysteries. I never know what they're gonna be, so there's destined to be one that I don't want to keep. And there is, and it's the Atlas 6. I DNF'd this, I was so bored, the writing was just so over the top, it was too much. I was intrigued, but I wasn't intrigued enough to outweigh the boredom. So yeah, it's a beautiful fairy loot edition. I would love to have loved it, Love. I would have loved to love it, that makes more sense, but I didn't. But I did give it a go, so I did try this one. I'm not just unhauling it after not trying. In fact, it's still got my bookmark in there. I was mid-chapter. 
I was on page 133, but I'm not going to finish it. So there we go, that one. Let's go for this one. A book that you liked but will never reread. Again, very good for unhauling. Thank you very much to Nina for that prompt. A book that I liked but will never reread. You know what I will never reread? It's only a tiny one, but Dragons in a Bag by Zeta Elliot. I enjoyed this. It's a ki tiny kids chapter book. Um, I liked this, but I will never reread it. It was just a cute book that I saw, thought looked like a fun little time, and read it in about five minutes. Not that's an exaggeration, but read it very quickly. It fulfilled that little spark of joy, but I will probably never pick this up again. I do have the sequel, which I will probably read at some point, but I don't think it's necessary for me to reread the first one to read the sequel, so Dragons in a Bag, which is a cute kid's chapter book about a little boy with dragons in his backpack. Let's go again for this one. A book that you bought for a cover buy. Candace, thank you. A book that I bought for a cover buy that I now would like to unhaul. I feel like it's probably going to end up being a middle grade again because middle grades always have the best covers. Oh, you know what? Da, 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 da. This one, which is another one that I've DNF'd. It's got my questing bookmark in it for Aurelium. Um, and I've just taken it out. I was really excited about this. The cover is illustrated by Carl James Mountford. The inside's illustrated by Carl James Mountford. But I just found this really difficult to read. Like, I was not connecting at all. I was not having a good time. I was like trudging through this. And it just it just didn't flow right to me. I did not feel part of this story. I was not in it at all. So I'm quite happy to DNF this and unhaul this. But it was a KJM cover, which is why I wanted it. I would love to be able to collect all of the KJM covers regardless of whether I like the book because I love Carl James Mountford as an illustrator but I don't have the shelf space for that so I have to be brutal and I have to be honest uh, but yeah The Riddle of the Sea which is about a boy who believes that his father has been kidnapped by a pirate so he goes on this adventure to potentially find his father. Obviously I didn't get very far so I don't know what happens but that's the basic premise of where I got to. The writing style just wasn't it for me. Um, I don't know if that's something to do with the fact that it's translated, maybe in its original language, which I think is Dutch. Uh, maybe in its original language it will flow a lot better. Um, maybe the translated element of it just didn't quite fit and have the same flow. If you're Dutch and have read this in Dutch, let me know because I would love to know if that is the case. But yeah, sadly, that one. Next! This one. Oh, another one that says a book from a book box. We've already done that, so I'll I'll scroll again. This one. A book Steph, Gav, or Pris did not like. I can do that very easily. With da, 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 more Jew. None of us liked it. Uh, we did this for our Patreon book club. None of us liked it. I DNF'd it because the child abuse was a bit much for me. Uh, so happy to unhaul this. None of us liked it. Triple tick that prompt. More due and it's a beastie book as well. So that can go. <laughs> Next. Mm -hmm. This one. A middle grade book that Gavin gave you or recommended you. Oh no, I think that's two prompts. A middle grade and then a book Gavin gave you or recommended you. Okay, we'll do both of those then. Uh, so one that Gavin gave me that was not a middle grade. <laughs> the Perfect Poo. Your time has come. I do not need you. Gavin has a vlog on this one. You should watch it. It's hilarious. But So Gavin gave me that one. Um, and then any middle grade to fulfil the other part of that. This one. It's still in its wrapper. It's from an Alcrate Junior. The Mirror Wood. Again, I don't know anything about it. But it's going to go to my sister's or my sister's school. Whichever. So it will go to a good home. Um, but yeah, it's literally still in its plastic, so I clearly have no intention of reading it. Right, we're on to number 13. A book you bought more than two years ago and haven't read. A book I bought more than two years ago and have not read. This should be easy, because there's probably a lot of them that would fulfil this. 
books that I'm just waiting for the right time to read and I just haven't got there. It's got to be Deep Light. Deep Light by Frances Hardinge. This is one that has been like ummed and ahed about in so many unhauls and I keep saying no I will definitely read it before the next unhaul because it sounds so good and I never do. So it's got to go and I got this when it was fresh out which was 2019 so definitely counts. I really think I could have liked this but it's just never been one that I've gone towards to read. It's a beautiful book but am I gonna read it before the next unhaul? No I'm just I'm really not. I'm really not. Every time I put it back on my shelf I forget what it's about until the next unhaul where I read it and I'm like oh but that sounds so good so I'm not even gonna do that but I'm pretty sure there are a couple of boys who hunt for treasure on the beaches and there are some like undersea gods that get angered or something. I don't know. We're not gonna go there. Pains me but honesty it's going. Next! This one unhaul a book that you said you liked but secretly you didn't really enjoy that much. Carrie. Hmm. A book that I said that I liked but I actually didn't like that much. That's tricky. So could I interpret this as one that like at the time I really liked but then looking back on it I didn't like so much? This is hard. Okay, time for some honesty. I read this for a vlog and in that vlog I said I liked it. The vlog never saw the light of day and I've not thought about it since. So, Shielded by Kaylin Flanders. This is a beautiful book. I love the, like, the naked cover, like the green and it's got the design like embossed on it. Oh, it's really pretty. And don't get me wrong, I liked it. I liked it best out of all of the books I read for that video but I just didn't really like any of the books that I read for that video. The whole video was scrapped because I had a horrible time. It was the video in which I rage read Kingdom of the Wicked so obviously in comparison I liked this one a whole lot but if I'm being honest did I like it all that much or did I just like it more in comparison? I think I liked it more in comparison. I was interested in the sequel, it's since been way too long, I would need to reread it, I'm not gonna do that. But at the time it was fine, it looked really good up against Kingdom of the Wicked but I'm not gonna reread it and therefore I probably won't read the sequel either so shielded. My battery is flashing so this might have to be shorter than I thought. A book you've forgotten about a few times. Oh there could be many, I forget about books all the time. A uh, random book on my shelf that I always forget that I own. Oh my god, I still have this? Does that count? <laughs> I thought I unhauled this before. A book you've forgotten about a few times. I didn't even know I still owned it. Does that count or should I hold off and fulfil a different prompt with this? I feel like for this I should pick one that I've started and DNF'd and then forgotten about or just forgotten I was in the middle of or something. Or a book again that I keep saying I'll read and then I forget about it as soon as I put it back. I found one and I found one that actually means two. These two. Rage by Cora Carmack is the one I keep forgetting about. Roar is the first one in the series. I would need to reread this in order to read this. And again, it's one where every unhaul I look at them and think, oh, but I really enjoyed Raw, or I'll reread it so that I can read Rage every time. And then they go back on the shelf and I don't reread them. It just doesn't happen. So I think that counts as forgetting. And I'm having both of these. There we go. A book with the word life in the title. That's very, very specific. Oh no, this doesn't give me choice, really. The only book that's coming to mind with life in the title is The Last Life of Prince Alistair, which, if I'm being honest, is another one that I keep saying, oh, I'll reread the first one so that I can read that. So, I mean, I, I could do that. I can't think of any other book with that in the title. Oh, that's really difficult. I might have to go 
for the last life of Prince Alistair. I don't like this. I don't like this one. Are you really gonna make me do it? Because if I get rid of that, I have to get rid of this. Is this just a duology? This would be so good for spooky season. I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I can't. I can't do it. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to do it. And you know what? That proves a point. The fact that it's the only one there and I'm not ready to get rid of it means I need to keep it. Right. Next. This one. Get rid of your latest two-star read. Bold of you to assume I know what that is. Uh, Courtney, thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> what is my latest two-star read? I'm going to go to my core pile spreadsheet and find out. Likely that I've already unhauled it, but we will have a look and see. My last two-star read was Pages & Co. And I have already unhauled it. Um, and that's the only one I've had this year, other than Swordsman's Lament, which is already in this stack. It came out at two and a half, technically. Um, but Pages and Co. and Swordsman's Lament, or Goldie Vance Volume 5, that I've already got rid of. Again, two and a half, it technically came out at. Right, let's go up to a three and see what I can get rid of. I'm going to bump it up because I've already got rid of those. So did anything come out at bang on a 3 or do we hop straight up to 3.5s? Oh, that one came out at a 3, I've already unhauled it. <laughs> right, we're going to bump up to a 3.5 then. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. And I'm really sorry to Jess for this because she's not going to be too, too pleased. But, oh my goodness, I am so sorry. The Promised Neverland. It's The Promised Neverland. I didn't love this. Uh, is my camera slowly toppling over? I think it is. There we go. But The Promised Neverland. It was one of Jess's favourite mangas. Um, I'm glad that I read it. I won't continue the series. I didn't like it all that much. Found it a little bit repetitive. So there we go. It's that one. Not quite a two star. Came out at three and a half. But going through all of my below three and a half star ratings, I've already unhauled them all. So what's the next best thing? Right, three more. Come on. A white book can be the author's name or colour on the cover from Victoria. Thank you, Victoria, for a white book. Um, ooh. Come on. Let's be honest. I've owned this book for way too long. Haven't read it. Don't know what it's about. Think it's pretty, like, old school YA. Probably won't even like it that much have only been holding on to it because it's beautiful and I love the naked cover just for how beautifully white it is but there we go thanks Victoria for that one um Ever the Hunted by Erin Summerall I think she has to find the murderer of her father but it turns out to be like her best friend or potential love interest or something I don't know nor do I really care it's been on my shelf for years and I haven't read it so I'm not gonna Next, this one. A book with your initials in the title. So I'm looking for a J and an R in the title. That could be really difficult. In fact, just finding one with a J, I think it's going to be really difficult. Let's just find a J to start with. Anything with a J. Literally anything with a J will do right now. I literally am struggling to find... A J. Unless I go by author. No, gonna have to skip that one. Sorry, Steph. This one. A book you bought but changed your mind about. Thank you, Kat. Um, there's probably some of those. Um, oh, this one that I've already thrown on the floor. Nixia. I bought this, have changed my mind about it. The dog's scrapping at something. I'm gonna have to wrap this up. But yeah, it's a sci-fi that I forgot that I still owned. So that counts. <laughs> Unhaul the book that has the letters of your name in it. We've already done that. I can't find one, genuinely. So I don't know. Let's scroll again for this one. A book you've DNF'd. That was again, one from Kat. A book I've DNF'd. I feel like we've already unhauled most of the ones that I've DNF'd. I don't think I have any left that I haven't finished. Or at least ones that I haven't like soft DNF'd. We have some soft DNF's that I'm not going to unhaul. But a solid DNF? We've already got rid of 
all of them. I'm just looking to see if I've got any other DNFs in my carts anywhere. But I don't. We've already got rid of all of my DNFs, so I can't do that one. I apologise, cat. Scrolling again. Boom. This one. An arc. Sarah. An arc? Sarah chose violence. Oh, the only arc I can think of. I'm not going to do that. But I have two copies of North Child because I have an arc of that. But you can pry it from my cold dead hands. Not happening. Oh, what do I have an arc of that I don't want? Do I have any other, like, duplicate arcs? I mean, Hard Reboot was an arc, but I don't really want to unhaul that. I've only just read it. I quite liked it. <gasps> I have an advanced copy of Adam 2, and I also have a finished copy. Haven't read it, but I have a finished signed copy of Adam 2, so I can get rid of the arc one. Also, I don't think it's special or different to be honest so adam two that works winner sci-fi middle grade in space i haven't read it i don't know but um alistair chisholm wrote orion lost which is one of my favorite middle grade sci-fis my favorite middle grade sci-fi there aren't that many middle grade sci-fis i love that so i really need to get around to reading this but i have a finished copy that is signed so i don't need to keep hold of the arc version perfect and you know what just for good measure one more. This one. Unhaul a book that you love but have multiple copies of. You can keep one book but unhaul the rest. Kathy chose violence as well. Fuck. I regret saying one more. <laughs> a book that I have multiple copies of that I love. I've literally just said I, you can pry Northchild from my cold dead hands. <gasps> Is this cheating? Is this cheating? I have the paperback and the hardback of A River of Royal Blood. I bought the paperback because the sequel was only being released in paperback so it would never match my hardback. I really liked this book. So I can unhaul this one. Ah! I definitely cheated my way out of that last scavenger hunt prompt but there we have it. I have unhauled 20 books and I think that's enough. It's too hot to keep filming. So I'm going to stop because I am working up a sweat. But thank you very much to my patrons for submitting the prompts for this. I definitely think I would do it again. Maybe when it's less hot because I'm sweating. <laughs> but I've had a good time and cleared some space and that was the point of all this. I may throw some extra books on here that didn't fulfil prompts that I just want to get rid of but I'll do that off camera so yeah thank you ever so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed I hope it was a little bit entertaining if you have enjoyed give us a thumbs up chat to me down below please do not tell me to keep these books because by the time you see this they'll be gone but yeah awesome okay I shall see you in whatever comes next bye